Hi, welcome back to Mingus on Tech. I'm Ken Mingus, Executive News Editor of Computer World. I'm here with Editor-in-Chief Scott Finney, Apple Guru Mike Dagonia. Welcome to our Facebook Live viewers who may be tuning in for the first time to watch us live as we talk about Apple's big announcement today, October 27th, 2016, or Apple Christmas in October for some of us. So we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on in uh, the Apple universe, given that Apple has now rolled out new MacBook Pros. If you haven't seen the announcement yet, the new MacBook Pros will be here in a couple, two or three weeks. You can order one now, but uh, it'll be almost Thanksgiving before we, they get here. Um, as expected, Apple has rolled out a new design, first new design in four years. The big change is the touch bar across touch the function bar. keys, which will allow you to do all kinds of new, fun, cool things. Um, and so I'm here with Scott and Mike to ask them what they think about the big announcement. I'm going to go with uh, Scott first because he kind of liked what happened today. Yeah, usually I'm the curmudgeon, but uh, I, I just, what's not to like? I mean, the, everything. Prices maybe. Prices are up a little bit. Prices yeah. and storage. The I fact that you can't go with 32 <laughs> gigs of memory. <laughs> There's Mike a lot. Be, there's Mike a lot to play, like. Mike will be playing the angry Apple. Fan. There's a lot to <laughs> like, but I mean, spec-wise. Yeah. All right. So what we it's going to be thirty-two hundred dollars by the time I get done when I get one. Yeah. But so, <laughs> I buy one every five years, right? I mean, they last forever. You're using a four-year-old MacBook Pro now, Isn't and it it's actually fine. Isn't no, it it's, it's it's fine. It's for, especially with these we'll specs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, so let's, let's back up for one second and talk a little bit about the specifics of the laptops. Apple rolled out two 13-inch models: one with the Touch Bar, the Magic Touch Bar, which was not called Magic. Um, one without, one with, one without, and the 15-inch, which does have the Magic Touch Bar, and um, touch prices. Bar. Huh? And Touch ID too. Huh? And Touch ID. Yep. And Touch ID too, which you know we could get into a whole discussion about Apple Pay on the desktop. Um, I should also mention, since we are doing Facebook Live, if you've got questions about the things that we're talking about, feel free to ping us on our Computer World page. Our social media editor Rebecca Linky will be watching the page and can let us know what you what you want to know. So Rebecca, let me know if there's anything coming up. Um, so anyway, two 13-inch models, 15-inch model. Prices are up a little bit, uh, three or yeah. four hundred bucks over the yeah. old models. As Greg pointed out, uh, four hundred dollar delta for the Touch Bar, right? Between the two 13s, but I mean, I think you uh, you pay for there innovation. Are, there are other things probably in the the upper level 13. I would guess we we still don't know. Well, the processor between the two goes from 2.0 to 2.9. So it's not 400. It's a, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's a, it's a faster processor. The the memory stays the same. The uh, no, the memory doubles to 16 gigs as well in the oh. upgraded 13. So it's a 50 dollar Touch Bar. Something like that. <laughs> right. Something like that. I, I should note that I, I do have my Apple Sheep with me because I did immediately order a new MacBook Pro. I got I got approval from the boss beforehand. Not this boss, the boss at home, <laughs> who is aware of this, so I will not get into trouble. But uh, you know, it is sad. I've got a 15-inch MacBook Pro on the way. It'll be here maybe by Thanksgiving. Apple Sheep. The other thing that uh, I wanted to ask Scott about, though, in particular, we were surprised was the the four USB-C ports on the bigger. MacBook the, Pro, that's a big the deal, four right? Thunderbolt 3 ports. Yeah. That's, I mean, Apple is making use of the Thunderbolt 3 spec in the way it was meant to be used. You can put the power cord on either side. Yeah, you, you can charge, any port, you can plug right? it in. You, you can, can, yeah, you can plug HDMI, it in to charge. You can display port. I mean, HDMI, it does yeah. everything. It's the universal port. Yes, it is. And you've got four of them. I was going to complain about USB ports and the lack thereof. I'll deal with the, the adapter for that kind of uh, it's just a lot transfer of <laughs> rate. <laughs> Dongles. I, I, I knew, Dongles yes. is a, I knew is that Apple had a hit on its hands for a little bit, yeah. when sitting next to Scott's office, I heard through the office wall a cheer <laughs> when the, the Thunderbolt 3 ports were announced. I knew Scott had, mm -hmm. you know, Apple had a buyer. They figured maybe. it out. They figured out what to do. Yeah. It is, it is interesting now. Of course, the, uh, if I recall correctly, the 13-inch model without the touch bar only has two of the ports. That's I think right. it's the 13 with the touch bar gets four, and the 15 gets four. Uh, Mike, you're not, you know, Mr. Apple Guru, Apple expert. You're not a fan of some of these announcements. That's not true. I like, okay. I like, He's I like the backing off of it. First. I like smaller and thinner. I like lighter. I like the new keyboard. Yeah. I like because uh, the, they they pretty much you know uh, upgraded the MacBook keyboard, brought that to the MacBook Pro. Uh, so that's great. That's awesome. Touch ID. You know Big that's great. That. Uh, that's like a, that. with a you know built-in secure enclave and and then fast user switching yep. with Touch ID. Awesome. 
All right. Uh, the brighter screen, higher contrast, has a 25%. So it has the wide, That's right. wide color talk gamut. about the screen, yeah. So Upgraded again, screen. great, great stuff. Uh, the, the updated speakers, fine, cool. All right, Four let's ports. get to the part and where yet, you're saying. And yet, and yet, drum roll please. $2,300 for a model that starts at 256 gigabytes of memory. Storage. Of storage, of storage, yeah, of storage. Yeah. On a professional, professional, I mean, you're, you're they, outraged. They're obviously outraged. They, they want you to run video editing software on this and, and all this. I mean, sure, you can, you it's know. It's the entry level model. But it's an entry level model that costs $2,400 and has 256 gigs of storage. I mean, clearly Apple's trying to push you to the other so one. So if they dropped it and made it 2800, would you be less angry? What do you mean? 2800? That's but that's the cost of the, that's the good the, one. Yeah. That's they essentially the cost the, of the, the good 256. one. 256. Why not start at 199 for the new ones? 2199. Or, or something. You know what I mean? Something just just uh, you know, a thousand less than 2 grand they probably as will a be startup. A year so from 1999. Now. What you're saying right. basically is that the the entry level pricing for the 15-inch model you think is about 400 bucks too expensive. Yes. It should it should start Absolutely. at 1999. At, at 256 gigs of storage? Seriously? Okay. You know, what year all is this? The, all the other what stuff they put in it, they you know they they they're going to get it. That's fine, and and if I were to buy it, I wouldn't go with the low end one. But still, it's it's frustrating to know that after waiting all of these years, and they you know they say they're catering to the, the the pro market clearly, and all they're doing is is pulling out another iPhone 16 gigs, you know, for for X amount of years just to just increase their profit margins. That's annoying. That's annoying. And I say that as the Apple guy. I know you do. That's annoying. Good. Yeah, I got to tell you. That, which camera's on? <laughs> because, both on. Yeah. Talk to both That's annoying. <laughs> yeah? Huh? What about, uh, you also had some concerns about the uh, 16 gigs of RAM. 16 gigs of memory, again. Uh, and he's off. It's like, it's Wha like why is there not a 32 gig option on a professional computer, Apple? Like, okay. uh, why, is this, why is this a difficult thing? Why are we discussing this? You know what so I mean? Why is this even a discussion at 2016? So you will not be buying No, I'm year. gonna see what happens the next one. I'm gonna review it. Yeah. I'll, I'll review this and, uh, you know, and obviously there's a, lot of, there's a lot of great things to like, but for someone who's waited four years for the next upgrade, to know that this, <laughs> this is, you know, the, the, they skimped on storage again, they, you know what I mean? They, 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 they do that. And, and the next model, the one that's, that's actually really good to buy, is the $2,800 model. But, but, but that's Mike, <laughs> that's you can you get two terabytes if you want. I mean. When? A two terabytes one on the, uh, hold on, on a second. On the $2,799 one. On the, do, do you really? Oh, yeah, it, but. It costs you an extra $1,200. That's exactly Jesus. it. That's yeah. exactly, <laughs> thank you. Exactly. <laughs> By the time you get to the model that you really want, you're spending well over three, Three grand, and that's fine if you're a professional and, and dealing with it. But when you're like a, a consumer, who who actually does use the professional equipment, do you want more? You want more bang for your buck? And all yeah, right, all so these ideally, other specs are right, great. So let's, let's back this up for a second. So if you were the one setting the matrix for Apple and its and its MacBook Pros, you'd start off with a 1999 model that has basically the the features of of the 2399 model. I yeah, the the, the less than 2K model should be, should start with 256K. Fine, oh. fine, but you know, again, what year is this? It's, it doesn't cost Apple that much for storage. Right. It just it doesn't. Is, it is interesting that Apple is making quite a profit on the uh, on the SSDs because storage has become so they, cheap now. They have always done this. But yeah, they right, and it's annoying. It at at me this point, latest. it's annoying. Yeah. You know, like I get it, but they did the same thing with the iPhone, 16 gig iPhone, for well past its, you know, uh, well past the day the day that it should, because they're pushing again. They were pushing the the, the camera aspect for so long. And then they skimp on storage. Okay. And it's the same thing. They're, prof they're pushing the professional aspect of this model for so long. You know, uh, I mean, they're, they're pushing the professional uh, uh, aspect of this model during the during the entire keynote, and then they bust out with oh, 256 gigs of storage. Are you serious? Okay. Are you serious? Like okay. that? That means you have to you have to bring the yeah, external drive. We're gonna cut his mic. Now. <laughs> um, having said that, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> having said that. In terms of the technology, because okay, otherwise let, it looks great. Let's assume <laughs> let's assume that not everyone feels quite as strongly as you do about the pricing. I'm one of them. Um, it's an expensive laptop. That's not unusual for Apple. It's not unusual that they want to push you up into a higher, you know, uh, pay grade or tier uh, um, with more storage or a faster process or something like that. I get that. In terms of the technology, though, I was I have to admit I was surprised, pl pleasantly surprised by the touch bar. 
and ha- it's, I mean, great. it's customizable. It's great. You can, you know, you'll be able to answer your phone call with the touch bar. You'll it's be great able to because it has multi-touch. It's it multi-touch. It becomes a new and user contextually interface sensitive. Design. It basically it's really, takes yeah. the multi-touch from iOS and puts it on the desktop, but right. not on the screen. Right, because Apple's avoid putting on the screen, which is the whole point. Right, they because they're trying to avoid the fingerprints the and right. Whatnot. Right, and it makes Microsoft's sense. Microsoft supporting it, others will. I mean, that was a big question for me. I mean, I knew this was coming. I I was, that, yeah. Would third-party apps support right. it? They have. They have to. They have to for it to be successful. For it to be successful, exactly. Right. right. So. I mean, look, look. Otherwise, these are these are pretty great updates. The specs nice overall, aside from the price, the right. specs the overall, I think, are. I mean, this is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Now yeah. it's been four years, like I said, right. since it. You know, since Apple has redesigned the MacBook Pro. In fact, somebody I, I tweeted or I saw it earlier today that this is the first MacBook Pro that did not have any input from Steve Jobs. Right. The last model had input at the very end there before he passed away five years ago. So this is the first wholly non-Steve Jobs MacBook Pro. And again, price aside, it is a pricey laptop. Uh, I think technology-wise, you know, there was a lot of talk yesterday about the Microsoft Surface, the big table thing, and the, the hockey puck thing, and some innovation there. Um, I think from Microsoft. From Microsoft, <laughs> innovating on the it PC. Happens. No, it happens. <laughs> it um, does. It did. But I do they think it happened been yesterday. Doing, they've been doing it a yeah. lot. Actually. Yeah, they have. And I, but I also think that the touch bar and the ability to to have something that's that customizable on your laptop is another area of innovation that I can see. Oh, that's going to be copied. Oh, that's going to be copied. Oh, that's going to be copied. tell where they're going. That's, so that's this is where issue. Apple is sort of skating ahead of where things are. Right, right. and that's the problem. They skate ahead in certain areas, and they fall far behind in other areas. I mean, but then we're looking at the SSDs. It's also, what, 3.1 gigabyte? Uh, it's it's like faster. The, you know, the throughput's faster. Yeah. In many ways, again, it's it's... It's, uh, it's great all the way around, system. but then yeah. but then they just kneecap the opening, the, you know, the open and entry level models. That's annoying. I predict within a month we'll be back here and Mike will have his new MacBook <laughs> Pro in front of him because as soon as he sees the one that will arrive for me, I had my credit card ready. Not before that. Remember, you know, Apple Sheep. <laughs> it doesn't. It, doesn't it, it, it applies to to more than just one person. Um, <laughs> it uh, look, you know, like I said, I had once my credit card ready. I had my credit card fine. ready to so go, <laughs> ready to go. And then once they announced the, the price, and once they know the storage options, and what. <clears throat> put that right back in my pocket and I said I'll wait for Rev well, that's too. why he's angry he's so. not getting the Mac exactly. that's right and I am that's gonna make it even better <laughs> no that's um, whatever okay. I'll, I'll get the review unit I'll give it a fair shake and then I'll, I'll and then you'll go buy one maybe all right, so uh, any other uh, tidbits or thoughts we should throw out there real quick for people? Were there any? Have there been any questions? Nobody weighing in? That's Nobody. fine. Good. Is anybody watching? Makes it easy. Um, you never know with Facebook Live. It could be sure. 10 yeah, people or 10,000. <laughs> <Sometimes it's laughs> and these things get saved and then can be shared. So uh, oh. even if they're not looking in the middle of a business day. Oh, good. Um, all right, so we covered our new screens, new keyboard, That's right. new, you know, faster processors, touch bar, touch ID. You know, I do think that this is going to give Apple Pay a push. You know, you've um, got it on your phone, you've got it on your iPad, now you've got it on the desktop. It doesn't need right there. much of a push. It's moving pretty fast yeah. already, but you're right. It, this is, you know, yet another, it completes the circle. It's another building block there yeah. in the whole mobile payment scheme. New, new chip, too. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, this, yeah. this new machine completes or, or does, does a, goes a long way it to completing the, the, ecosystem. The, the, the ecosystem. Exactly. And, and that's fine. I'm just, like I said, annoyed that you can't upgrade the memory. The storage is shit for the, the, uh, the okay. price that it's at. And um, and also uh, the, the 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 price point. The memory, is annoying. Right, memory, the, the memory storage. storage and, okay, and so uh, it'll price be a point. month or so before Mike buys. I think we got. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. He's starting to wind down already. Yeah, he's <laughs> just down. Like, you know, that's because he'll keep to kicking his, me under the he's table. Go back. No, he's going to go back to his office and buy one. Um, all right. Scott especially. So in terms of the MacBook Pros, that's the uh, the upshot as we know for now. Um, oh, before I go, one last. Um, house cleaning business. For the last year or so on Mingus on Tech, I've been giving a lot of grief to my friend Linda, who has been running around with an iPhone 3G, an eight-year-old iPhone, complaining about how it doesn't work and it won't hold a charge and she can't do anything with it. And I've given her grief and told her almost every month she needed to buy a new iPhone. Well, yesterday, this is Linda with her new iPhone. She did She it. finally bought a new iPhone. Yay, Linda. She's still unsure as to whether it's an iPhone 6 or 5SE, which should tell you everything you need to know about Linda's techn- technological skills. Nah, it's good. She's but good she person. has a new iPhone, so we can retire that and not worry about Linda for another eight years. Um, 
great. All right, I think that'll do it for now on the MacBook Pro update. Angry man, happy man, happy man, two to one. Um, thanks, Scott. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for watching, and that's a wrap.